Boys and girls, please come on up and join us for the children's message. You can have a seat on a floor right here in front of me, and uh, please wait patiently as I uh, set up the area here. Come on up. Have a seat. Probably want to be on this side of the baptismal font so you can see. All right, so what we're learning about today, and if you were in Sunday school, you learned about how sin entered the world. So we're going to talk about that some more. We're going to start off with a Bible passage from Genesis 3. Verses 1 through 7. So I'll read that for you. Listen carefully. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God actually say you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden. Neither shall you touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened. And you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loincloths. So what just happened there was Adam and Eve sinned. They disobeyed God, and they ate the fruit of the tree that God said not to. That was the first sin ever. That was the first sin in the world. And through that sin, it brought death, disease, sickness, and destruction into the the whole world. Sin is yucky and gross, and it makes us feel bad. When we're not nice to our friends, we're not nice to our brothers and sisters, that's sin. When we don't listen to our parents or our teachers and disobey them, that's sin. If we steal or lie, that's sin too. It's yucky and it's gross and it's really bad. And it's the wrong thing to do. Now I need a volunteer, somebody who's tall enough to reach the whiteboard. Can you be my volunteer? So what I want you to do is take this eraser and try to erase that sin on the whiteboard. Can you do it? Is it working? No, it's not. Okay, thanks for help. Huh, it's not erasing. The other side. Well, that's the same thing like the sin that's in the world and in us. We can't get rid of it by ourselves. We can't do anything to erase it um, or be perfect or save ourselves from our sin. Now, that, that's pretty bad, right? And we would feel bad. But luckily for us, because of God's 
grace and God's blessings to us, the story doesn't stop there. God doesn't leave us in our sin. So I'm going to read another Bible verse for us, and this is Romans 5, verse 17. Romans 5, verse 17 reads, For if because of one man's trespass, death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. So one man, Adam, brought sin into the whole world. And it was one man, Jesus, who was fully God and fully man, who saved the whole world. When he came to earth, he died on the cross, and then he didn't stay dead, right? Right? On the third day, he rose again from the dead, and he defeated our sin, death and sickness, and the devil. And through the waters of baptism, our sins can be washed away. We're going to see that in just a moment. All right, can I have another volunteer? Lena, how about you help me out? Take the eraser and now see if you can erase that off the whiteboard. Wow, thanks, Lena. It's gone. It's washed away. And that's just like what happens in our baptism. The waters of baptism wash away our sins, and they're all forgiven because of what Jesus did for us. You can see it just a little bit, but we know that Jesus washes it away completely, and you can't even see any of it when Jesus washes away our sin. And because of that, the eternal life that he gives us, we can live with God in heaven forever. Not three ever, not five ever, not ten ever, but forever. And that is the good news, the gospel, for each and every one of you. Amen. So let's pray. Let's fold our hands and bow our heads, and I'll pray for us. Dear Lord, thank you for the free gift of salvation that you give to us through what your son Jesus did on the cross, and rose again, so sin, death, and the devil could be defeated. Thank you for that eternal life that you give to us, because our sins are forgiven. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, amen. Thank you guys for coming up. You can go on back to your seats. We'll see you later.